an NYU graduate by the name of Miriam Simon um, is conducting this project, okay, and it's the Human Cheese Project. What she wants to do is really delve into the issue of sustainable food, um, ethical food, affordable food, and she thinks that it makes sense to create cheese out of human breast milk. Obviously, yes. Okay. Look, the, the, Couldn't agree more. the interesting part about this story is basically the question that she asks, right? Because mm. you think of human cheese, I don't know what you personally think, but when I thought about it, I had like this, you know, just that n visceral reaction, right? Like that, ew. Well, I thought... And I have never seen you, and you've never seen me. And I thought, like, yeah, I guess I, it didn't never, the thought never occurred to me, right? Right. And so my initial reaction was, ew. And then my second reaction was, maybe. Right, because she, she brings up a really interesting question, right? People feel uncomfortable eating human cheese or drinking human milk because they don't know that particular person, right? They don't know what that person's eating, what that person's putting into her body. But we drink milk from cows all the time. Isn't it more unnatural to drink milk from another animal instead of drinking? I mean... It's Actually, humans are the only animal that drinks the milk of another animal. Right. Yeah. Right. So she brings up that point. And she also brings up um, how some people see it as cannibalism, but how can you see it as cam cannibalism when babies are nourished by a mother's breast milk? I'm dismissing that point entirely. It's not right. cannibalism. It's absurd. It is absurd. But given the fact, given the rationality and the logic behind it, I'm still for some reason disgusted by it. And I know that's wrong. No, no, no. It makes sense. I, I'm disgusted by it. And, and I see myself as an adventurous eater. I would mm -hmm. try almost anything. But I don't know if I would try really? human cheese. Yeah, well, here's why you're disgusted by it. Because you're picturing another woman. And she's... Like pumping and her then, breasts. And, and, and then somehow you're going to eat that at some point. <laughs> right? Uh, of course. That's why you're disgusted by it. Uh, but on the other hand, it, it is logical. And I would, I would have no problem trying it. Oh, could you imagine trying cheese from Selma High Express? I haven't said a word. I'm just saying, like, it's a fascinating idea. Okay? <laughs> All of a sudden, oh, can you, the, imagine the money you can get for that. <laughs> okay? You know how guys are. They're crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways. So, uh, two things in the story. One, the libs are going to get mad at me uh, because she's so obsessed with the eco thing and the tree hugging thing and the, you know, like, She's like, all right, but we want to make sure that it's sustainable, and, and no, in no, order no. for it to be sustainable, the pot has to be vegan, and then no, that no, she no. put it in, and the woman makes sure that she didn't eat a quarter pounder, and she's, I'm like, just dude, just eat it, okay? No, just please, no. eat it. It's fascinating, it's fascinating, because I think that it really shows the difficulty of eating food that is actually local, right? In order to eat local cheese, uh, let's say it's human cheese, right? The food that the mother consumes needs to be local, okay? The woman herself needs to be local. Um, no, the, she does. The place, the place where you create the cheese and the other ingredients that go into the cheese need to be local. It, to no. actually, no. I mean, it, that's why I'm not buying some it. Some people are purists, right? They yeah. want well, that they're locally grown food. This is why they're right. going to hate me. You're ridiculous, okay? It, you, it's totally untenable. It's impractical. It's good to do the first step, maybe the second step, and say, hey, look, let's try this. It's a little more sustainable. I like buying the tomatoes from the local place. That's great. I got no problems with that. In fact, I like that, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're going to make sure that the local woman who's making you the local human cheese didn't eat anything outside of the local... Oh, come on, dude. You're never going to be able to do that. And then you're gonna like your whole life is gonna be spent on what did she eat and right. did that place that tomato come from somewhere else and, and you your life is gone no no, no I'm but, not buying it but no, your reaction your reaction is exactly what this woman wants because what she's trying to do with this project is show the difficulty of that okay so just uh, make that's the human cheese put like hot women on the cover you'll sell a lot be a capitalist what's the matter with you you see what I'm saying you say human cheese created by this woman. And you show a hot one, like you show Kardashian, guys will buy it like crazy. Just think a little bit. It's America, okay?